what have we found as some of the barriers at InTouch? Because certainly there are, there are adoption barriers to use. And as you saw the RP7 robot up there at Barnes Jewish Hospital, one of the things that we found is of, of every 10 doctors that are using our system, our robot, actually about four of them really love it. They love using a joystick and driving it around, and they actually are into that. Another three or four are sort of indifferent to the experience. And then two or three say, you know, I will never touch that. Can, you know, I'd like the nurse to push me to the side of the bed, and, uh, and then I'll deliver the care that way. So, so we've had to address those, those barriers, certainly, as we've started thinking about new enabling technologies. And we're about to share with you RP Vita here. And Yulin uh, Wong is going to share a little bit more about it. But uh, really, what it comes down to is, is, is this question, which is, you know, what, what is the future of healthcare? And, and does anybody know what this, what this represents on the screen? Who knows what that is? Prometheus. Prometheus. It's, the, it's the health pod from Prometheus, right? So, and, and, a, and, a, and a rather grotesque scene where, where a, uh, a cesarean section is being delivered through an autonomous robot. Uh, that's certainly not what we believe the, the, the future of healthcare is. Um, while it's an interesting uh, and provocative scene, uh, Yulin, I think, is going to share with you a little bit more about the vision of where we see RP Vita.